In this video, we'll try to load a new dataset, uh, which is coming again from the R uh, Tidy Tuesday R uh, repository, uh, which is uh, US polling uh, places. Uh, here we have uh, many columns. I thought I can use this as uh, a data set and try to load into Power BI and do some transformations in Power Query. Let us try to load the data set into Power BI text CSV. You have the navigator and uh, click on transform data and you are in Power BI. Power BI has already identified and applied certain steps and let us try to go ahead and insert another step because I, uh, in real world, the data sets are not clean. So we have to spend a lot of time cleaning the data. So in this case, I feel that the election date has some errors. So let us try to um, do uh, modifications to that code and let us try to uncheck uh, the unwanted things because it has identified non-data uh, data types also as date. So let us try to uncheck them. As you can see, uh, real world, like I said, real world data sets has a lot of uh, errors. So we have to clean them up so that it will be useful for us when you change this column into date column and uh, we should make sure that there are no errors. So now that we have done that and let us click on OK. Once we do that, we have the column ready. So the cleaner the data, the better for us because when we are trying to create reports, uh, the, those reports should make sense. I think in a way it's a good idea to start using new data sets as a standard in any kind of tool we, whenever we are learning there will be a, a specific uh, data set which we kind of learn all the tricks of the tool but um, now and then we have to go out and uh, try to use real world data set and uh, once we have that data set understand the data and uh, once we have that we could create uh, a report page which gives a lot of information to the user and uh, we are trying to get insights from the data set so i have created four uh, uh, report pages which give uh, different uh, details to the user and uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video